Hey everybody, you're watching 5 Minute Web Dev, and this is another episode in our series, 5 Minute JavaScript. Today's topic is hoisting. Now, hoisting is a topic that interviewers love to ask about. This is because it's a concept that will pretty easily show off your level of experience and understanding of JavaScript. At least it'll show if you don't have much. It's also one that you can't really fake your way through. If you've heard of it and understand it, great. If you haven't looked into it, it's not easy to tell what hoisting is referring to. On top of all of that, it's also just an important concept to understand when writing JavaScript programs. So what is hoisting? Well, we've talked about variable scope previously. If you haven't seen that video and you need some help understanding scope in JavaScript, go check that out and then come back here. The two issues are related in that hoisting also has to do with when and how you can access variables in your program. More specifically, hoisting has to do with how JavaScript handles the variables that you declare in your program. Just to be clear, when I say variables, I'm really talking about variables declared with the var keyword and functions. Let and const handle hoisting in a little bit different way. I'm going to just give you some examples here, and you might be surprised at how JavaScript handles them. This example works just as we expect. We have a function, and then we call that function, and it does what we expect it to do. But what about this one, where we call it before we declare it? Why does this second example work? Because hoisting. Here's a few more examples, and then I'll explain. We have a function declared. Inside of it, we have a variable where we lock it. Makes perfect sense. But here's another example. Here, we assign a variable before we declare it, and then we log it. This still works. Why? Well, if you don't understand hoisting, but you have watched my video on variables, you'll know that a variable assignment without a declaration actually creates that variable in the global scope. So you might think that our second example will log out undefined. Why? Because your intuition will lead you to believe that you essentially wrote something like this. So we have a global variable declared and initialized normally in our global scope. And then in our function, we have a variable declared of the same name, which we try to log out. Remember the scope chain, isavar is going to point at the local scope and not the global scope. That would log undefined. Now that's good intuition, except that it's wrong. So here's the answer finally. You see, in JavaScript, variable and function declarations are hoisted to the top of their scope. Because of this, we can access isafunk before it's physically declared in our code. And because of this, in the second to last example above, isafunk is not a global variable, even if it looks like it. Because the declaration var isafar got hoisted above the statement or the assignment isafar equals I'm a var. Isafar gets treated just as if you wrote that function like this. Now, I want to make it clear, hoisting does not mean that your variable and function declarations are physically lifted to the top of your scope. That would be a very elementary understanding. It might be enough to get you past the interview question sometimes, but also it might not be. So I'm gonna give you a glimpse into what's actually going on under the hood. So here's a better answer. In our video on scope, we talked about how functions create new execution contexts. I want you to think of that execution context as two phases, what we will call the compile phase and the execution phase. The compile phase comes first and then the execution phase. This video isn't about execution context, but to understand hoisting, we do need to look at one part of the compile phase. During the compile phase, the JavaScript engine is going to go through your function and create a space in memory for all of your variable and function declarations. When the compile phase completes, then the execution phase will begin and your code will actually be run. Did it click yet? This is why you have access to your variable and function declarations when your code is run, even if you try to access them before they're declared. The JavaScript engine has already stored them in memory for you. There's a caveat though. What do you think will happen in these examples? The first one logs undefined. This one gives you an error. What? But what about hoisting? Well, have you noticed how I've been saying that variable and function declarations are hoisted, not assignments? That's because only declarations are hoisted and not assignments. When you write a simple function statement, meaning you didn't assign the function to a variable, the whole thing is part of a declaration. Therefore, it gets stored in memory in the compile phase and you can use it before it's actually written. But when you assign a function to a variable, that assignment is essentially ignored in the compile phase. Same thing goes for when you declare a variable, but you don't assign it. It gets stored in memory, it gets hoisted, but the assignment portion does not. In this example, when you try to access the variable tell me before you declare it, you'll get undefined. 
This is because the JavaScript engine essentially uses the value, undefined, as a placeholder for the coming assignment of your variable. You'll notice that if you had no declaration for tell me at all, you would get a reference error instead. This is because there'd be no declaration to hoist and so no variable to reference. In this example, you actually get undefined as a placeholder for does this work as well. During the compile phase, does this work is not any different from tell me. It's just another variable declaration with its own space in memory and the value undefined is being used as a placeholder for its assignment. However, in this case, you will get a type error. Why? Because you're trying to invoke the value undefined just as you would invoke a function. Obviously, this is an error because undefined is not a function and the JavaScript engine is telling you so. So to summarize, during the compile phase, the JavaScript engine stores variable and function declarations in memory, allowing you to access them in your code before they're actually written. But you must remember that only declarations are hoisted and not assignments. Variable declarations have the value undefined used as a placeholder for their actual assignments. Function declarations have their whole statement hoisted, meaning you can safely use them in your code before they're physically written. When understood correctly, hoisting really isn't all that complicated, but there are cases when it can definitely be confusing. All in all, it's my opinion that it's probably best to avoid utilizing hoisting when you can. If you find that keeping function declarations at the bottom of your scope keeps things organized, then that can be a safe way to utilize it. But I would certainly avoid hoisting with variable declarations. If you're going to use the var keyword, either just declare all of your variables at the top of your scope, or just make sure you don't try to access them before you declare them. There's no need to make your code more confusing than it already is. And that's hoisting in JavaScript. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching 5-Minute Web Dev. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what other topics you'd like me to cover in the future. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.